the owner of this dog, wanted to deprive him of his right to be a male dog, on the way to the pet hospital. John was consoling him all the time, but Marley seemed to know what they wanted to do, trying to jump out of the window directly. Every time the female owner changes clothes, he will grab one and carry it around everywhere. So every day, the couple is either chasing the dog or on the way to chase the dog. Marley grew up, so he started to have ideas about female dogs, but he also brought wealth to his owners. John worked at a newspaper. He wrote a feature report about Jenny and the dog. Unexpectedly, the public loved it very much and also got the recognition of the leadership. Not only did he double his salary, he also gained a lot of fans. One good thing after another, Jenny also got pregnant. To celebrate, John specially bought a gold necklace for Jenny, but in the blink of an eye, the necklace was gone. It turned out that Marley would be jealous when John gave Jenny a gift. He stole the necklace, no matter how the couple tried to stop him. Finally the necklace was eaten by him. The couple went for a prenatal checkup. The doctor also praised her necklace for being very beautiful. Just when John wanted to know if it was a boy or a girl, the doctor felt something was wrong. Then he called the director to help have a look. The result was that the baby had lost its heartbeat. Jenny was very upset when she got home. This time Marley finally calmed down. John was afraid that Jenny couldn't get out of the pain of losing a child. So he wanted to take her to travel and called Lisa to help take care of the dog. But she couldn't even control the dog food. Marley ate frantically and then pooped frantically after eating. After finally finishing the busy work, wanted to take a shower, but was teased frantically by Marley. When the couple came back, the house was no longer like a home. Lisa said he was not a dog, he is a devil, and slammed the door and left. After returning from the trip, Jenny's mood finally improved. A month later, she finally got pregnant again. Unexpectedly, this time Marley's change. Marley guarded by the bedside every night. Suddenly, the female owner was awakened by pain. He quickly went to wake up John. The couple hurried to the hospital, leaving Marley alone to wait. Soon, the couple brought the baby back. Marley was very excited to see it, but John was afraid he was too rude, so he held him back. But the female owner still held the baby over. At this moment, he was very quiet, afraid of touching the baby. The baby grew up day by day with Marley's companionship. After a few years, John's job also got a promotion, and they moved to a bigger house. And Jenny has become the mother of three children. But Jenny became very irritable due to postpartum depression. Now she can't bear the dog anymore, always complaining to her husband. This day, after finally putting the baby to sleep, but Marley was always meddling, constantly barking whenever he heard any noise, and always bumping into the baby. Jenny decided to send the dog away, so John had no choice. He had to send him to a friend's place first. But when John came back, Jenny regretted it. She felt that it was all her fault, that she was the one who was wrong. In fact, in his heart, he had already regarded the dog as a family member. John had been writing about their family and the dog's stories. Unexpectedly, these articles were seen by the New York Times, and they contacted John by phone. In fact, John's dream was to work for the New York Times, so he moved his family and dog to a new home. Here, the children gradually grew up, but Marley also aged. One day, John suddenly noticed that he was struggling to climb the stairs. Not long after, Marley actually ran away from home. It seemed that he sensed that his body was failing. John and Jenny searched for him in the rain and finally found him under a tree. After being taken to the hospital, the doctor said he was too old and he only had about 10% chance of surviving the night. Please be prepared for the worst. But John said he was not just an ordinary dog. He firmly believed that his dog would be fine. It's okay. He can come to pick up his two little brothers from school, like he used to. John would also make time to spend more time with him but he would never be as lively as before. He couldn't walk for a while and had to stop. Marley used to want to squeeze onto the bed with his young owners, but now he chose to sleep on the floor by himself. One day, he left the house and lay under a tree outside. Jenny noticed something was wrong and called John to come back. Everyone felt that this time he might really leave. The children were all very reluctant to let him go. Marley was like a big brother to the children and a son to Jenny. John took him to the hospital again, but this time he could no longer stand up. With John's soothing words, he slowly closed his eyes. After the dog's death, 
John decided to bury him under the tree in front of their house, so that he could see his family every day. Each child wrote a letter to Marley, and Jenny gave him the necklace that John had given her, because it was very meaningful to them.